Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking how much heat is required to raise the temperature of uh, 6.5 moles of propane from 30 degrees Celsius to 5, uh, 50 degrees Celsius at constant pressure of 2 atm. The gamma ratio of propane is uh, 1.127. So let's see how we can find the find this one. So how much heat is required? So if you, they are saying it's a constant pressure, right? Constant pressure. So this is an isobaric process. Isobaric. So whenever we have isobaric process, we can calculate the heat using this equation. Q is equal to then Cp delta T, right? We know the mole that is provided, 6.5 moles. Uh, we, we, are, we know the delta T, that's going to be just final minus initial. But we have to know the Cp. So here they have given gamma ratio. The gamma basically means uh, Cp over Cb. But to find the Cp, uh, we have an equation that uh, Cp is equal to R gamma over gamma minus 1. If you wonder how we de uh, derive this equation, uh, you can, like, there's a, there's a relationship like uh, Cp, you know, let's take a monoatomic gas. For a monoatomic gas, uh, Cp is going to be 5 over 2R, right? So it's equal to 2.5R. And for a diatomic gas, I mean, no, diatomic, uh, monoatomic gas, uh, Cp is equal to 5 over 2R. And Cv for a monoatomic gas is going to be 3 over 2R, right? So we are trying to make a connection using the using these two things. Because uh, he, here, you know, we know that uh, gamma already. We know the gamma value, but we don't know Cp and Cv separately. To find, uh, since we have two unknown, we have to make a relationship between Cp and Cv. That's what we are trying to do right here. So here we have 1.5R. So this one, this 2.5R, you can write this one as 1. 0.5R plus 1R, right? That is equal to 2.5R. Therefore, you can say uh, 1.5R is equal to Cv, right? So we can replace this on Cv plus R is equal to Cp. So Cp is equal to Cv plus R. So here we are trying to find um, this relation. So let's plug this value. Gamma is equal to Let's uh, plug uh, Cv plus R instead of Cp. So Cv plus R over Cv, right? So this one can be written as Cv over Cv plus R over Cv. So this is equal to 1 plus R over Cv, right? So here we are trying to find the Cv. So gamma minus 1 is equal to R over Cv. Therefore Cv is equal to R over gamma minus 1. So this is relationship be between gamma and Cv. But here we are trying to find Cp, right? To find the relationship between gamma and Cp, we can use this equation, the same equation, this three equation right here. So we know that gamma is equal to Cp over Cv, right? So we, if you want to find Cp, Cp is equal to gamma times Cv, so gamma times instead of Cv we can replace the whole thing, R over gamma minus 1, R over gamma minus 1, and that's how we derive this equation, R gamma over gamma minus 1, right, that's how we derive this equation, and this is the one we are going to use to find Cv, this one you can always use, so this is for monoatomic gas, right, what about diatomic gas? You will get the same relationship. Like for a diatomic gas, Cp is going to be 7 over 2R, uh, Cv is going to be 5 over 2R, right? This, this is going to be 3.5, 2.5, 2.5 plus R is going to be 3.5, Cv plus R is going to be Cp. Same thing, diatomic or triatomic, you, if you try anything, you will get the same relationship. So this equation will always work. And this one also will always work. This is Whenever we have a constant volume situation, and if you want to find Q, you have to use NCV delta T, right? So you can use this one to find the CV in those kind of situations. So here we have 
constant pressure isobaric process process so we have to use ncp delta t so cp we can use this equation to find this one so let's find the cp first cp is equal to this one so r is going to be what r is going to be 8.3145 8.3145 times gamma that is provided 1.127 divided by gamma minus 1 gamma is 1.127 minus 1 right and if you calculate uh, CP that's going to give you 73.78 right so we can now plug this one into this equation and find all the values so here we have 6.5 more multiply by 73.78 multiply by delta t that's going to be 50 minus 30 that's going to be 20 right 20 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 9591.4 joule so this is our heat uh, heat required let's look at the second question this answers the this answers the first question so first question we have answered already let's look at the second question second question is asking uh, what is the change in internal energy of the gas uh, they are asking for the delta u. We know that uh, delta u is equal to q minus w, but we have q, we don't have the w, we, do, we don't have the work provided. So we have to use a different equation that is uh, ncv delta t. This will always work. So here n we know 6.5 more. So in this situation, we can use the other equation cv is equal to r over gamma minus 1. Right. If we want to see we can use this one. If we want C P, we can use this one. So here we can use C V is equal to R over gamma minus one. R is going to be eight point three one four five divided by gamma minus one. That's going to be one point one two seven minus one. That's going to give you sixty five point four seven. Right. Now we can apply this one right here and find the final answer. So we know the mole already that's 6.5 multiply by 65.47 multiply by delta t that's going to be 50 minus 30 that's equal to 20 and if you calculate this one that will give you 8511.1 joule and this is going to be our change in internal energy and that's how we do these kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.